So this is the process for taking an ear impression. Now, everybody has, a, has ear wax. Everybody gets a bit concerned about people looking in their ears going, oh my God, I've, 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 my ears are dirty. Well, it's, it's not dirty at all. Everybody has ear wax. Um, it's a natural secretion. It's there for a reason. Um, but the only thing that can inhibit taking uh, an ear impression is if the ear canal is completely blocked or there's a lot of hard wax in there which we can tell by the colour um, because obviously they're only the in-ear monitors are only going to fit as good as the mould that is taken of your ear. In order that we can put this two-part medical silicon into the ear to actually make the mould what we need to do is block the auditory canal off at the second bend in the ear canal which is roughly where the cartilage finishes. So um, to get that acoustic seal up to that point is really important. And also the auditory canal is like an S bend. Everybody's different, but also that will also, having that slight S bend in the, in the, um, in the model and, and for the in-ear monitor will help retain the, the in-ear monitor in the ear as well. So we're gonna block the ear canal with a small foam ear plug. Uh, with a string on it, there we are, so we don't lose it. But that is so it actually just comes out of, of the ear. Uh, we won't lose it, don't worry. Now, um, now, what you will may, when you're having this done, is it, it may tickle a little bit because we actually are gonna go up to the second bend in the ear canal. Now, the ear canal on most adults is from the concha bowl, this point here, the entrance of the ear canal, to the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. Is, is approximately about an inch long. So it might feel like we're pushing this um, auto block or this, this ear plug um, into your head, as it were, which might tickle a little bit, but it only goes two thirds of the way down to where that second, second bend is. We use something called a pen light, which is this tool here. So we just put that in the ear canal there. And then we gently push it around the first bend. So we just go to that point there, and then we check with the otoscope, just to check that that's in the right position. So there we go. So I can see that that's up to the second bend. It's all nicely sealed the canal, ready for us to put the silicon into the ear to make the mold. So we're now gonna put the silicon which is a medical silicon to make a mold. So it's a silicon and a hardener. And this silicon and the hardener mixes along this tube, along the cannula there, you can see it, mixing it together until it comes to the end. And then we're just gonna gently syringe this into the ear. So this may feel like going underwater. It might feel a little bit cold and it will go nice and quiet. So you may hear it crackling and popping as it sets. It's not expanding as such. It's just the reaction between the silicon and the hardener. You're sort of hearing in the ear canal. So we fill the ear canal, backfill into the concha bowl, up into the helix, covering the whole of the ear to get a good model of the ear itself. So just keep a relaxed jaw. Try not to laugh or smile too much. So, and that will now set in about three or four minutes. Okay, so after about three, four, maybe five minutes, it depends what the ambient temperature is like, um, this will go hard. And as you can see now, this has gone solid. So that's making a, a mold or an impression of the ear. So now we're gonna, we're gonna gently take that out. Sometimes we might ask you to open your mouth and wiggle your jaw a little bit, yeah. just from side to side, that's it. Just can help the process to help take it out. So we just break, break the seal and then just gently Take the ear impression out, like that. There we are. And that is a mould of your ear. There you go. So what we're gonna do now with these ear moulds or ear impressions, as we call them, is now create a 3D model of them. So what we need to do is just trim them up and just need to cut off the, the ear plug or the auto block that was on the end there. Just and just slice a little bit off the bottom there so we can stick them in the machine. 
and the other one. Brilliant. So this is where the magic happens now. Putting this on this little machine here. So what's going to happen is that this is going to spin around and the laser is going to create, um, obviously follow the profile of the actual model and create a 3D, 3D model, which we see on the screen. So just close that. And then we go over here, start. And you see on the screen here, this will start to create a 3D model. There we are. So that is the model of the ear. So that model then goes off to our manufacturing facility and what they actually do is then from this model is then superimpose whichever product you're actually going to have onto here, work out where the tube, the sound tube is going to go, where all the components are going to go in the actual linear monitor and then they 3D print the reverse of that which is actually then the mould that they then use to actually put the silicon into to pressure cure it to actually make the in-ear monitor. And then they actually just crack the shell off once it's pressure cured, they, they crack, the, crack it off, a bit like a hard boiled egg actually, crack that 3D printed mold off um, and that's the in-ear monitor and then they can finish off for the wiring and put all the other components, um, fit all the other components accordingly. So in actual fact they are, uh, apart from the 3D printing of the, the actual, the mold or the shell, um, for actually making the earpiece. Uh, everything else is, is, is done by hand. And we keep these on file for four years. As I said earlier, the, the cartilage of the ear continues to grow and change shape as you get older. Um, so we recommend getting the fit um, tested um, every four to, four to five years. Obviously everybody's ears are different. Um, normally you can kind of tell when, when they're, they're getting a bit loose or they're not fitting properly. Um, obviously with our custom hearing protection, we can actually do an acoustic leakage test, to test the, the seal integrity of those. Um, but we recommend every sort of four to five years is, is, getting, is getting new molds taken so you can guarantee the fit, um, comfort, and also level of protection.